Do you think the effort to bring back black money is justified by the expected payoff? Uh, this, as I've said, to me, the uh, negative fallout is bigger than the benefits that you will get out of this. So uh, that is not the case. But should we have determination to go after the shadow economy, to put an end to a lot of corruption? Certainly the answer is yes. But that will need a lot of planning. And one particular thing has to be kept in mind that to take on the shadow economy, you have to keep in mind that the shadow economy is intertwined with the healthy economy all over. It's a bit like in the human body. If you have a malignant tissue, just going for it without being mindful of the fact that surrounding it there are healthy tissues is not the right way to do. So you will have to use that medical analogy and develop that for the economy to take on the shadow economy. About the larger economic climate in the world, how do you think Brexit and the Trump election would shape the future of the world economy? I'm very worried about the global economy because of the kinds of moves you're seeing uh, worldwide. Part of this, I feel, is rooted in technology. As technology improves, uh, machines are replacing a lot of human labor and very often labor in faraway places are be able to work for other places. And India is a beneficiary on that, but the technology that replaces labor is a general concern. What we have to ensure that the middle classes, the lower middle classes don't feel left out and angry, which is happening around the world, is to ensure that as technology replaces labor, wages don't get replaced entirely by profits. You still have to get income to the people who used to live by their income. So it is fine to have new technology come in, but you have to think of kinds of intervention where the arrival of technology does not mean the end of wages. You have to get other forms of income back to the people, which requires a lot of innovative thinking, the kind which may have gone on during the industrial revolution, very innovative thinking. A new round of innovative thinking is called for today. IIT Bombay has announced that it plans to begin a BS economics program soon. There already exists a program in IIT Kanpur. Do you think there is a vital synergy between engineering and economics that we can exploit? I think there's a huge synergy. And given the reputation of the IITs, the excellent reputation, if you can bring economics here, which begins to do some interfacing with your engineering disciplines, you have seen examples of that in uh, United States. MIT is one of the best places in engineering. It's one of the best places for economics today in the world, and the synergy helps. If you look back at history, some great discoveries in economics were done by engineers. Having, building a bridge, you're trying to calculate the benefit to the consumers. So you're coming into a domain which is economics, but as an engineer, you know the hard, the concrete part of it. You discover a mathematical method of getting to that. Jules Dupuy made a very powerful discovery. There are examples of that kind, a lot in economics, and I'm just very, very happy that you're thinking of doing that in IIT Mumbai. Oh, yeah.